Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Ann Mack. I take your stories tonight on the Primetime Edition. And then as soon as that tree falls on you, um, everything goes silent. The stunning scenes out of San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. A falling tree slams into several cars. Coming up, you'll hear from the one woman whose car was crushed by this tree here behind me. Her story about how it felt just seconds after. And coming up in the first alert forecast, there is a dense fog advisory tomorrow morning for some of us. I'll explain where that's most likely to be and where it's not. And then we're going to look ahead. We've got a good amount of rain coming our way in this seven-day forecast. The first batch gets here tomorrow, but the bigger stuff is later. Forecast coming up. Because he dared to speak the truth. Because he dared to shake the status quo. This is Martin Luther King Jr. Day organizers of a rally in Oakland remembering what made the civil rights leader's legacy. Plus, a black bear making himself right at home inside a California woman's basement, and it took a lot to get him to leave. I've heard of it happening before, but I just thought, why me? <laughs> From CBS News Bay Area. This is the Primetime Edition on PIX Plus. Now, good evening. I'm Ann Mackinac. These are tonight's primetime headlines. A third person is going to be arraigned tomorrow on murder charges in the death of Oakland police officer Tuan Lay. Marquise Cooper was arrested last week in Southern California. He and two other men charged with shooting Officer Lay during a burglary at a cannabis business. A fourth suspect is charged in the burglary itself. Houthi rebels have struck a U.S.-owned ship off the coast of Yemen in the Gulf of Aden. A day after firing an anti-ship missile toward an American destroyer in the Red Sea. The Iranian-backed group's attacks over the Israel-Hamas war are also disrupting global shipping through the crucial corridor linking Asia and the Mideast to Europe. A fishing boat has recovered the body of a woman who was likely on board a small plane that crashed off Half Moon Bay last night. The aircraft went down shortly after takeoff from the local airport, but it is still unclear what went wrong or exactly how many people were on board. The Coast Guard calls off its search for survivors this morning after combing 28 square miles of ocean. Taking a live look outside, time to get a first check of the forecast with meteorologist Darren Peck. And the first thing we're going to start off with is a kind of a unique position that we find ourselves in in the forecast for tomorrow. Take a look at the national map. It might be subtle, but if you see there's a little bit of green on there that's shading us. And this is actually the forecast for Friday. We don't often make this map, but this is put out uh, by the storm